Hi there, welcome to the new lecture. This will be a very short lecture to learn about group policies and how you can analyze your current on-premises group policies within this short lecture. Let's say you have your on-premises server and you might be having a lot of group policies and uh, you might have to migrate them to your uh, to your Intune. So how do you do that? So that's what we're going to learn it and we will analyze the group policies from your on-premises. But before that, I would like to you know, show you quickly where you could actually create existing uh, or the new group policies. So group policies, if you do not have anything from the on-premises, but you want to create something from Microsoft Intune, this is where you should be you know, creating. So point to devices and by platform for Windows, and go to the configuration profile and create a new profile for windows 10 or later and then you have an option to select catalogs as well as the templates so i would recommend always go for settings catalog this supports a huge number of almost 99 percent of all kind of in you know, a group policies will be supported but under templates you have an option if you choose in any case templates this is an old method we would you know go to the uh, administrative templates it's very similar tested fully of course you know uh, settings from the catalog also tested but this is uh, very recently got you know generalized uh, or general released earlier it was into the premium or preview I'm sorry it was in a preview now it is a general but most of the settings are available under settings catalog so I would recommend you always try to check in under settings catalog and then you can give your group policy name for example I want to uh, walk with Windows updates example so you give that name and a meaningful description and then click on settings this would you know uh, search here for example you can you know uh, windows updates example or you can hit a search or you can simply you know navigate based on windows uh, settings here just like you know your local group policy similar administrative settings and then control panel all of that settings will be available or you can simply go ahead and search if you know the settings you could you know simply search here so that that would actually appear here so in my case I should able to see some of the settings in a minute or so yeah there's nothing coming so there's something wrong in my search so let me search it uh, update you see a lot of update specific or there uh, within this you no know, Windows update also will be there and then you should be able to uh, look for Windows update for business or whatever that specific settings that you want to you know um, configure you should be able to do it for example I can you know select this and then it will come up uh, under configuration settings you give that value and then configure and assign to your specific group and you can apply your filters so this is how you would actually apply this is the normal method but let's have a look on your on-premises configuration so that's the main uh, key for this lecture that's what we we're going to learn within this lecture so let me log into my on-premises domain controller. This is my on-premises domain controller and this is where I have a couple of group policies. Let's say this is one of the group policy which has a lot of settings very similar to some of the DNS affix, DNS IP, DNS server IP or maybe my Windows uh, update uh, specific components. All of that settings that I wanted to automatically migrate from your on-premises to your cloud so what I'll, what you will be doing is you would be you know right clicking on your group policy then you have an option to save as a report so simply click on save as a report and choose under save type so this is where the save type you need to you know, choose as the XML format that's it all you have to do is that and then it will save in a XML format and simply copy that file um, and keep it keep it ready in, in my case I'm just copying because I have my Intune server in a different place so I just copy paste it and then from there I will open my Intune uh, portal and you see here I would be pointing to the devices and then I have an option called group policy analytic so I'll go here so if you see here in my case I have a couple of already uh, different settings are already available but uh, that's just the uh, for the testing purpose I have already done in a production but in my case this uh, in your case maybe you will not have anything that's fine let's uh, try to import so if you see some of them are coming with the uh, warning 64 percentage only matches with Intune settings or remaining settings you cannot push it and some of them you can you know push it 100 percentage and later point you would be you know, selecting the required settings and then simply clicking on migrate to migrate those things that's what we are going to do it so as a demo we'll import first step 
So you can you know save. So you can read that. That's what we have done. Like we open the group policy management control and right click and we saved as they exported with the XML format. Now it's time for it to import. So just right click or open up that and that's my XML file. All I have to do is just when I locate that it automatically process and import it complete it successfully. Simply close that button and it will refresh in a minute this entire summary to get that specific setting. So you see here, luckily I got all these settings are 100% available within the Microsoft uh, Intune. So not all settings are available or compatible to push from Microsoft Intune. So there are some of the settings that might not be available to push it directly from Intune. So how do we know is the key. So to know that this is what we do. We save that XML and we import and we will analyze here. You see here only 33% of the settings are available. Remaining settings are not compatible to push it from Intune. So how do you do? That's again, you might be doing from a registry settings to push it or or other alternative options are available. But for now, our lecture is uh, gonna focus how do you, you know, migrate these settings if it is compatible. So if it is compatible, you could actually use and you could you know, validate here to get that 100% success or 100% support capabilities within the Intune. If not, you would not be migrating those settings. That's what you're going to do it and you would be you know, pushing as a different setting. So in my case, most of the settings were compatible for me with the 100% uh, which we just imported. And these are the settings which are not uh, compatible. In my case, if I see in the default domain policy or domain controller policy, there could be you know, some settings might not be compatible. If you see here, I wanted to you know, showing here some of the password uh, age setting is compatible. Uh, max ticket age is not compatible because those are related to the uh, Kerberos specific settings and that cannot be pushed here with the MDM. So if that's not possible, what we'll be doing? And if you see here, the settings that are not supported, you cannot migrate them, right? But the settings that are supported, you just have to you know, select and then click on migrate option. That's it. And then it will give you an option uh, it will analyze and it will tell you hey you have all of these settings from a different different places under settings catalogs if you remember the beginning of this lecture we open the settings catalog and different places all the settings are available right so it will automatically go and it will search for those settings and it will come up for you and finally all you have to do is you have to click on the settings uh, to migrate by taking the checkbox in the left side by taking all those settings and then simply click on next to create a profile. So this is what it's going to do all these settings with the values and you can give the profile configuration. So in my case, I can give here something like since it's a test policy, I'm just giving as a random name like GPU migrated uh, with on-premises GPU name so that I can easily identify my uh, on-premises GPU name and also meaningful description. Then click on next and simply target for the required group of course you could you know choose your filters also and make sure that you know you target to the right audience that's what you're going to do it so in my case since it's a uh, simple setting that i wanted to apply for my help desk users i might be you know, searching help desk specific users group uh, for example this is a group that i wanted to uh, set it and then simply click on next and deploy that's it my policy is ready now becomes very easy in order to you know migrate your on-premises group policies to Intune and that becomes as a configuration profile and it, it is it will be readily available for you so you can you know point to your configuration profiles and look at that specific settings that you are simply created with a uh, simple clicks right so if you see GPU migrated that's a settings catalog group policy got created automatically for us and uh, if if at all if you want to change something or add some other settings you can always edit that and add required settings i hope this short lecture is useful for you thank you for watching we'll catch you in the next lecture thank you for watching this short lecture if you really like it give it a thumbs up that will motivate to create more and more intune specific videos thanks once again